Kells. Yes, sir. Andy Collins. Aye. Steve Carroll. Aye. Mason. Aye. I'm sure you'll see plenty of me shortly on the uh, video. Here we are at Sigley Fjord for the first morning, just getting ready. Okay, Cold man. and damp day. We just had breakfast in the clubhouse. And it's raining cats and dogs. My farmy lies over the ocean. My party Today, lies over the sea. Big day, first day. My party lies over the ocean. Greta's due later, so that should be great for the kids as well. So bring back my barney. Look at the eager beavers there, I'm going give them a little bit of filming. Give us a wave. Right, lads. Bring back. Eager beavers. Bring back. Bring back my barney to me. Bring back. Oh, bring back my barney to me. I'm wondering if we've had it that chair basin, so don't sit down on any of you do. <laughs> so you all know which groups you've got to start with. Yeah. We'll see you later in the video. This is our fourth year of coming to Greta Steinson's soccer school and running it for him under the guidance of our Bolton Wanderers coaches. The International Soccer School now has been travelling all over the world. And this is the last camp for our season before we hit July to go on our travels all over the world, Canada, USA, South Africa, Nigeria. Here we are, day three of our Bolton Wanderers International Soccer Schools in Iceland with Greta Steinson, our first team right back at Bolton Wanderers. There he is in the pitch giving a few pearls of wisdom to the young players that are on the camp. We have over a hundred boys and girls here with this wonderful backdrop of mountains, snow and volcanic ash within the snow. What a great week it's been so far considering the ice cold conditions, the wind and the rain. The kids have been fantastic with their attitude. These are the two older age groups. Greta, as I say, out there with them. We have Tony Kelly, our Bolton legend, an assistant under 18s coach with these. And then if we pan round in this beautiful scenery, we end up with the younger age groups working down below with Mason, Steve and Andy. Here we are with Tony Kelly, the assistant coach of the under-18s and the Bolton legend himself. Tony, we had a great week here in what has been very harsh conditions compared to last year. Um, I wasn't here last year, but uh, I've been impressed with certain things with the kids, but we'd like to get your opinion, Tony. What, what's your thoughts about the camp and the kids? It's been a totally enjoyable week. The kids' attitudes have been spot on. As you just mentioned, the weather. The weather plays a big part, and over here, unfortunately, I think for eight months of the year, Kids have got to contend with snow and all that. So the kids have come, they've given it all. Some of the standards on some of the days have been very good. Other days, a bit of fatigue, so I think all that. But I've got to be enjoying the week and I've really enjoyed myself. Um, it, it helps having Greta here because it's surprising when we, we've been around the town and how small the town is to produce someone of, of Greta's stature and him to put something back in the community. Tell us a little bit about your thoughts about what Greta does for the community. That's it. Uh, ever since the first time I met him at Bolton Wonders, I got on great with him, I got on like when I was on fire. Uh, he puts a lot back into the community. Uh, he's very proud to come from this place. Uh, he, as you can see, going around the town, the people love him and he stops and talks to everyone. So he is, what you say, an ambassador for the town. He, he does really well. And the kids, it's been a great lift for the kids having Greta Steins and every single out on the pitch with them every day, encouraging them, giving them advice, and questioning sessions. So I think it's been a thoroughly enjoyable week. Tony, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable week, me being with you, Tony. It's been a privilege. Thank you very much. This is our fourth year, I think, of coming to Iceland and doing this camp. And without Greta, we would not be here. So you do owe a lot to a Premiership footballer that's trying to put something back in your community. 
He has his family and friends that jump in and chip in and help out. Constantly chauffeurs and draggers all over the place. Take us out to ladies nights and God knows what else that we end up going to. But I just want to say as well that there's nowhere on Iceland that offers you what you've got here. Nowhere. There's nowhere offers what you've got. This week they've had five coaches from Bolton Wanderers, a Premiership player, an ex-Bolton legend, um, they've had sports psychology, diet, nutrition, uh, they've been fed and the food's been fantastic. So it really is a privilege and honour and you need to understand that and continue to support us when we come here. We want to see the same amount of faces and hopefully this can keep growing. But on behalf of Bolton Wanderers, thank you and thank you and thank you all, thank you, thank you and we'll see you all next year. Please don't disappear, get your certificates but thank you very much. We're about to set sail on a very bitterly cold day, hopefully trying to spot some whales. Let's hope we see some. We're dressed like something out of the football factory, but if you were here you'd see how cold it is and understand why. But it's been a great week, top top by this fantastic trip, organised by the club, um, who Greta used to play for. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Barnacle Bill! Yeah. Close! Please.